A lot of secondary data used by marketers can actually come from internal sources to the organization. Business and marketing operations routinely collect a lot of information that can be used to answer a current marketing research question. Let's walk through a few examples of internal sources that generate data often relevant to marketing researchers. We'll talk about a CRM system that generates relevant data, payment systems, web analytics systems, ERP systems, and other routine marketing activities. This list isn't exhaustive, but it does illustrate the many ways that modern organizations generate relevant data for marketing research. Here's an example of a CRM dashboard. In particular, this dashboard comes from the popular software as a service platform, Salesforce. This is their platform that they use for higher education. What you're seeing here is a recruiting dashboard that helps a marketer who's recruiting students to a higher education institution uh, to let them know about how their various students from various locations, notice the cities here, are interested in their college, as well as how high-performing students, how the ACT students are interested in honors programs, uh, how it corresponds to their GPA, and whether or not they participate in a campus tour. Payment systems are another example. In particular here, we see an example from the payment system called Revel, where we use iPads or some other small digital screen and have a cloud-based payment system uh, platform. And what you see here is a general typical report where various establishments, so for example, you might imagine a coffee shop chain that has a series of different coffee shop locations. Uh, we're seeing reports about various gross sales, any discounts that are given. This type of information could be useful to answer marketing research questions related to sales performance of various territories. Web analytic platforms are another source of what you're looking at here is data being pulled from the popular web analytic pl platform, Adobe Analytics, and being visualized using Microsoft Power Business Intelligence uh, data visualization platform. In this particular example, you can see in the bottom right-hand quadrant here, these various boxes represent the magnitude of revenue generated from a certain product. So this particular product ID number here represents uh, roughly a third of all revenue. We can see here basic web metrics, such as the number of unique visitors within the time period, where they're coming from, and what sort of keyword searches are generating particular page views. In this case, outdoor gear is most common. ERP systems are actually usually a suite of applications meant to track various transactions across an entire institution. Uh, and in fact, many of the previous examples I just gave you could all be thought of often as things that feed into an integrated ERP system. Uh, SAP might be one of the most common examples of a company that provides uh, ERP solutions to organizations. And what we see here in this particular example is a invoicing system, a report coming from an invoicing uh, system for a particular customer. And again, this type of information, knowing which customers are paying and how often they're paying and how discounts are being accrued and so on and so forth could be relevant to answering a marketing research question. Of course, a variety of other routine marketing activities often generate relevant data that could be used for other analysis. For example, here we see a report that's generated from MailChimp. MailChimp is a popular email marketing platform. And what we see in this particular chart is over time, being on the x-axis here, we see the modern kitchen cutlery email campaign having a typical click rate right around 9% with an open rate floating around roughly 35%. And that's substantially beating the typical industry average benchmark of 17.35%. Another example of marketing information internally that could be useful to answer marketing research questions might be something from a social media platform. Many social media platforms that are designed to help serve businesses as well often come with their own internal analytics dashboards. Uh, Facebook Insights is one example here. And in this particular screenshot, what you're looking at is you're seeing a marketer generating a new audience for a targeted uh, Facebook advertising campaign. And in this particular case, this, in per this person is creating a audience that slightly over indexes uh, in terms of household income compared to the overall uh, Facebook population. You notice the light blue bars represent the typical overall uh, Facebook population. You'll notice that the blue bar here representing this new audience being generated for this targeted uh, Facebook campaign over indexes. These types of insights can also be used to understand how your Facebook pages are performing uh, in terms of attracting and retaining your audience. And